okay? Let me emphasize something to you. First, I'll give it to you in the form of a problem, okay? HSC markers, we sit in a room, there's, um, you know, there's a few dozen of us, okay? And we have these, these thousands and thousands of um, stacks and stacks of manuscripts, right? And um, hundreds and hundreds of students each, and we have to mark these things. Now, when you do that, when you see so many students going past you, you start to see the same kinds of problems again and again. And you realize what people are good at and what they're not so good at. Now, this is a big problem that's been identified by HSC markers again and again, okay? Particularly in maths. A lot of the emphasis in maths is on getting an answer, right? I can know that I can do maths because I can get it right or I can get it wrong, okay? And if you can get it right, you're good at maths. If you get it wrong all the time, you're bad at maths, okay? But the picture is more complicated than that. And in high school, we, we fortunately get the time to explore that idea. There's not just right and wrong. There's also, why is that so? Why did you go through those steps? Okay. Now, it's the reason why working and setting out are so vitally important. Okay. Now, let me give you an example. I'll take, um, uh, you can follow along at home with me if you like. I'll take an example uh, from the exercise I just showed you. Right? The kinds of questions you got would be something like this. Solve this. Okay. Now I won't. I won't make you do it, but I'm just curious. How many of you reckon you could do that? Yeah. Anyone? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's give it a go, shall we? What would be the very first thing that you do? I, I need to put some brackets in, right? I need to factorize. Yeah. So you think to yourself, I need a pair of numbers that adds to five, and a pair of numbers that multiplies to six, and those two numbers are. Two and three. Two and three. Two plus three will give you five, and two times three will give you six. Right? So you take those two numbers and you do this. Okay? Right? So I factorized, right? Now you look at that and you're like, mm, okay, now what do I do? Now there's a few different ways you could approach it, but what I would do is I would say, I know what this looks like now. This thing over here, okay, it's going to intersect at negative 2 and negative 3, right? And it has a shape that looks something like this, roughly. Okay, does anyone know what the shape's called? It starts with a P. Parabola. It's a parabola, right? So then you, <laughs> then you look at yourself and you're like, okay, I want this to be greater than 0. I want it to be, I want these parts that are above. See that? That's greater than zero. They're above, okay? So therefore, I want x is less than negative three, um, or x is greater than negative two. And that's it. I'm home and host, okay? Now, whether you understood that or not, here's my point, okay? The working and the setting out, these pieces here, this, this, and this, right? If I'm an HSC marker, right, I'm looking for these things. This question, three marks, okay? If all I see is this, which by the way is exactly right, okay, out of three, I'll give that one, okay, because it's just the answer, it's just the answer. If that's there and there's none of this other stuff there, you haven't demonstrated understanding. Right? Does this make sense? So the way you demonstrate understanding is by putting this stuff down, right? When you look at this, even if I wasn't here to explain to you, you can sort of see what's going on. You're like, ah, oh. it gives you some insight into what's going on in their brain, okay? But if all you saw was this, okay, you're like, well, the answer's right, okay? You, you'll have the answer sitting in front of you, you're like, tick, but how did they get that? Did they just guess? Did they just read it off the person next to them and copy it down? How much understanding does that demonstrate? Answer, not very much, okay? So therefore, when you're doing your exercises, right, don't, don't do your answers like this. Right? I know it takes up a lot of space and you're like, I want it all to be nice and neat and so on. But it's no use to you if you're practicing in a way that's not useful, like this. You want to include all that working out stuff. Right? That's how you should do your exercises. That's a tip for you from the HSC Marcus Room.